Hello y'all, back again. This is um, this is Semi from Java Jukebox and Masak Masak with Semi. Uh, today, I am in Kingston. <laughs> I'm gonna do this vlog. Uh, this is my second time here in Kingston. I'm visiting my friend, uh, my great friend, my mentor, uh, Marugini, and his his wife, Shina. Um, right now, I'm in Kingston, uh, specifically in Harborview area. So stay with me, all right? I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here for about a week, so I'm gonna vlog all the trip and show you guys um, how my trip goes, okay? So here you go, let's get it. <laughs> Enjoy! Yep, so there I was, I was flying out of Boston Logan Airport and then I had a transit in Miami. It was a beautiful flight, it was very smooth. It took about two hours from Miami to Kingston, but the view was beautiful, a lot of beautiful ocean along the way. Also a lot of hills and mountains once you get into Kingston Airport. But it was a smooth ride. So we can better assist you. Here, sir. But before I get into my first trip, I just want to show you guys quickly the house that I was staying at in Kingston. This is my good friend, my host, Maraginis house, right down in Harborview, nearby the airport. It's beautiful. He has so many plants, a lot of flowers. He even grows dragon fruits in his backyard, mango trees, uh, a lot of cassava, some lime, and some banana. It was amazing. But quickly after I got settled down, he took me down to Kingston downtown. So the first day of my trip, we plan to visit Edna Munley College. It's a historical, well-known college in Kingston, Jamaica. It's a school of arts, so they have many, many different programs. So like School of Visual Arts, like the School of Drama, where they teach theater and acting. Also School of Dance, where my friend Maragini used to play percussion to accompany all the dancers. And they have this beautiful stage for the students to perform. He showed me around and meet all the staffs told me a lot of stories because it's a very historical college a lot of great artists painters actors dancers many many great artists in Jamaica came out of this college so it's beautiful to see and he just drove me around in Kingston before we had to head back home to get ready for the next day the second day of my trip was actually one of my favorite highlights of the trip we drove from Kingston to Malvern in St. Elizabeth to go check out his farm that he just built. Uh, on the way there, we were pretty hungry because we had to rush, so I just took it to go and I got this beautiful jerk pork. <laughs> it's from the side of the street, but man, it was so good. It was very juicy and they give you this cocoa bread to eat with. I got myself also a jerk chicken with pepper sauce. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The skin was all nice and crispy and it was so juicy and very smoky and ah, all the flavors. If you go to Jamaica and you don't get jerk chicken, you're probably missing out a lot. <laughs> but the trip was awesome, it's such a beautiful drive. And so here it is. My friend's beautiful farm in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. He's growing a lot of different vegetables like this Irish potatoes, he's got some cassava, some squash, a whole lot of different vegetables. But I want to show you guys this red soil dirt right here. Check it out. St. Elizabeth is actually pretty well known with the red soil dirt. But check out this cool watering system that my friend Maragini built to catch the rainwater to use to water his plants. It's pretty cool. And one thing that I learned from my friend Maragini that day is how to heal up potatoes. 
heal up potatoes literally just digging some dirt and make a heel of dirt to cover all the new branches from the potato plants that way you get more potatoes learned so much from him that day about farming oh and that's Marginis friend super sad well-known artist came by to visit him and we got some lunch together before we head out and so after a couple hours of farm work we decided to relax and visit Marugini's close friend, Courtney, who lives nearby from the farm. We had to walk a couple minutes to get to his house, but it was such a lovely one. Because this place is also known for their perfect weather. It was very warm and sunny, but it was also very cool from the gentle breeze and the air is so fresh. It was such a lovely walk with a lovely view and by the time you get to his house check out this backyard view imagine having this view in your backyard amazing and when we got there we just kind of hung out yeah. talk a little bit he pulled out his guitar so we got to jam and then we decided to continue our morning walk walk around the village for a little bit until we had to head back to kingston it was a lovely day So on my last day of my trip here in Jamaica, I wanted to go around Kingston and specifically visit this famous street called Orange Street, or also known as Beat Street in reggae community. It was where all the major record labels and studio recording was located back then. Here's the street. There's not too many open anymore, but there's one that my friend Margini insists that I have to visit, and it's called Lego Studio. Lego is a producer well known in Jamaica and many great artists like Dennis Brown, Ken Booth, Buju Bantan, I mean you name it, they've come through this door and worked with this man. And as soon as I come in, reggae music starts blaring. You can feel the history, you can feel all the stories that this studio has produced. It's an awesome studio and I was greeted by a very friendly engineer and that's Q. He showed me around and he showed me this beat that he was working on. And before I got a chance, he just started grabbing mic and he gave it to me. And he said, well, you have to sing now since now you're a singer. So I started freestyle and work on this song. It was an amazing experience. I love this music. Oh, somebody just asked me that I love this reggae so much. We had so much fun and before I know, I, when I went outside it's already dark so I was initially gone, going to grab a vinyl from this famous record shop, actually one of the last standing record shop in Beat Street called Rockers International. It used to be owned by Augustus Pablo, but now it's run by his son Addis Pablo. And so there it was, that was my last night in Jamaica before I had to catch my flight to go back to the States in the morning. All right, there you go, guys. This is my last day here in Kingston. I'm about to pack and head to the airport in about two hours to go back to the States for a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip as much as I do. I had a very wonderful time here in Jamaica this time. And thanks to thanks to my uncle Marigini and Aunt Shinya to, um, for letting me stay in this, uh, in this place. Um, but if just just want to let you know if you guys are interested to go check out Jamaica and learn more about Jamaica culture, uh, please let me know or go check out the the link below uh, for for Marugini. He's definitely the person that I'd recommend uh, to show you guys around. So yeah, please let me know if you if you are interested to uh, check out Jamaica, learn more about the Jamaican culture, music, art, um, whatever it is you want to know. He's definitely the person to to contact. Um, but other than that, I'm signing out until the next trip. Peace.